some uh, quesadillas all right so i got back to japan about a month ago for the first two weeks i was editing all the videos with chelly and i vlogged a bunch of other videos here in japan but i slowed down the uploads because i was kind of just figuring out some shit and um i just want to start the vlogs fresh here with a clean slate i was also doing a lot of technical stuff i'll talk about some of it later but yeah i just uploaded the first japan vlog yesterday and today i am going to give you guys a tour of my share house. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> it's just. Hey. Hey. Ooh. Ooh. It's lit. Ooh. Ooh. We too lit out here. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm super excited right now. I just. Do you, do you guys ever just get excited to yourself? You're just like, ooh, okay. Ooh. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> ooh. 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 <laughs> ooh. That's crazy. I'm in the forest temple because I'm, I'm cuckoo. Oh, wait, those are called ukus. Wait, but aren't the chickens called cuckoos? I gotta look this up. Hold up. Okay, I just looked up cuckoos. Apparently, cuckoos is a recreation center in Plano, Texas. That shit looks lit. I wanna go there. Where the heck is Plano, Texas? Does any of you guys live in Plano, Texas? It's near... Oh, it's in Dallas. It's really close to Dallas. Yeah, it's like next to Dallas. Okay, okay. Yo. Anyway, I'm getting off track with the thing that I was getting off track about. Okay, let's hop back on the side track. Oh, the chickens in Zelda are called Kukos. Okay, hopping on the main track. We're starting off the second year in Japan in a brand new location in my very own share house. This is the first place I've ever lived independently. 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 I got broads in Atlanta. Okay, I'm actually going crazy right now. Living alone has not been good for me. Anyway, this is my first place living independently. It's been a good time. You know, I was like kind of independent last year, but I was living with my uncle, so it's like not really independent. But now I'm living truly on my own, out here in the real world, fending for myself. And yeah, it's crazy. It's a crazy time. So yeah, now, I really gotta get shit going. Like, this is the time. I need to get my shit together. My YouTube channel really hasn't grown since I came here. I'll, like, grow a little bit, but then everyone just leaves for some reason. I suck at maintaining an audience. I don't know what it is. People come in, and then they leave. I feel like a hoe. Oh, man. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm just not entertaining. I don't know. I'm just like a pair of ass and titties. That's it. It's good, but like after the night, you don't care about it anymore. Maybe people just watch a couple videos. They really like me, and then and they just stop caring. But you know what? I don't care. I'm gonna keep doing my thing. I realize that at the end of the day, I do this for me. When I'm old, I'll be able to look back at all these videos and just be able to watch a timeline of my whole life. And I think that's fucking dope. So yeah, this is all just for me. I'm just rambling so much. I actually had a script for this video, but I completely just skirted the other way. The only part of the script that I followed is what's up, my quesadillas. Yeah, that's the only part that I followed. Okay. Anyway, I know all of you guys are asking, what is a share house? Well, to answer your question, a share house is a house that people share. Yeah, that's it. I'm playing, I'm playing. Okay, okay, okay. A share house is a house that people share. Sh share okay wait how do i explain it i mean that is what it is okay so basically it's a big house and then people share the house this is why i didn't get into college hold up okay 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 so it's a house but like i get my own room okay there we go i get my own room but the laundry shower kitchen and like the main stuff is shared with all the people in this house and then there's like a little living room too hey, let's just go down the ladder real quick let me start from the beginning okay i party too damn much all right we're gonna start from right here There you go. So this is my room. This is like kind of a zoomy lens, so it's hard to like get the whole thing. But I think you guys see like what it is, right? Okay, let me just go through everything. So it's a pretty small room. This is the door. That's the light. This is 
the microwave. But one of my Japanese friends gave it to me. So shout out to him. He also got me this kettle. So thank you for that, Masa. This is where I keep all my clothes. This is where I hang my clothes. Usually I got a pile of dirty clothes on this little ledge thing here. Got a dumbbell right there. This light turns on, by the way. I don't use it though. Here's Simon the succulent. Got him from Ikea. Here I got some plastic bags. This is where I throw away stuff. Got a microwave. Here's a freezer. I got some milk bars in there. Here I got tuna. Sauces here. Got milk, water. Got a bunch of food in there. Got an old banana right there. I'll eat that later. I don't know if you guys want to see all my food. Some gear on, some pickles. I don't even know what this is. It just looked weird, so I thought I should try it. I think it's like chicken with like sesame seeds on it. Some oninari-san. I don't know what these are called in English. And I just got some chicken and like potatoes and stuff. Got some yogurt there too. All kinds of food. One grocery shopping yesterday. By the way, this thing is pretty short. It's like three fingers. I actually hit the doorway. I'm 5'5", five five but I identify as 6'8". So if you're 6'7 and under, you should be good. This is the loft though. Here's the air conditioner. This is my work area. If you know psychology, I guess you could say this is my workinings area. <laughs> like Warnicky's area, you know? <laughs> I'm a silly goose. We got some psych jokes up in here. All right, so I bought this chair at this uh, store called Olympic. It folds all the way down too, which is cool. So I can just lay down like this. Got some toilet paper here, you know, for... Uh, um, uh, you know, just like cleaning and stuff. Uh, yeah, this is my workstation. Just doing so. Oh, oh, whoa. That, that was for a video. Uh, got my 3DS here. This was a little storage area, but I just made it my sleep chamber. It gets a little lonely in here, though, so if anyone wants to join me, pretty intimate spot to do some yoga. Not anything, like, weird, though. I have a girlfriend. I'm a loyal dog, you know? Can't be doing that. Here's the window thing. Got this fork, knife, spoon at Ikea. I stole these chopsticks from Sukiya. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys the other part of the share house. All right, so if you step out my room, you see this. That's my shoe rack. I got sandals if I want to go to the bathroom. This is the bathroom. It's really uncomfortable to um, take a poo poo here because when you're sitting, there's just not much room here. It's just really uncomfortable. Like the door is like right in your face. And then especially like when you're trying to like get up, just imagine like pulling your pants down like this and then like just, just, and then just trying to like, like that, you know what I'm saying? It's just uncomfortable. Luckily though, there's no one in this room. So like this whole space, I got to myself. So I, I usually just leave this door open and I'm just straight chilling like this. We could check out the other room too. Pretty similar, but it's a little different. This has a little window right here. Got a ladder here, has another loft. The loft area is bigger. I was thinking of moving all my stuff in here, but like, I don't know, I like my sleep chamber. All right, so if you go outside, it's under a staircase. This is what it is. Um, yeah. So if I want to take a shower or use the kitchen or wash my clothes, then I got to go here. Got to walk outside a little bit. And I'm pretty sure the share house is like all this right here. If I just walk in here. So these are the other rooms. So three people live here. Here is another bathroom. And if you go up the stairs. Here's the living room. No one really uses this, but sometimes people make dinner and they eat here. But this is the kitchen. I don't really use this. I just buy the cheapest food that I could find. It costs 100 yen to use the washer, so that's like a dollar. And it costs a dollar to use a shower for 20 minutes, but I found a loophole. See, the 100 yen is only for a hot shower. So I've been taking showers for free. It's just a really cold shower. But I've actually been doing that anyway. So yeah, it works for me. This is where people keep their stuff. This is my locker. I just got my cleaning stuff. There's a vacuum here. Refrigerator, I don't use it though. This is the bathroom. I hit my head on this thing, but I identify a six eight so i mean i guess most people wouldn't hit that this is the shower oh really pretty normal shower oh yeah i forgot to say but in my toilet there's like a bunch of toilet paper right here and i just use that for like tissues and stuff kind of living like a bum but i'm surviving and this is one of the less nice share houses i hear other share houses has a lot more stuff it's a lot bigger and people are like more close people will like hang out and stuff like that in the share house but my share house is just a bunch of japanese people that just camp out in their cave and to be honest that's what i've been doing too just been camping out i don't really talk to anyone it's kind of rare to see people to be honest sometimes 
sometimes a shower will be taken so i'll just leave and then come back later and then they're gone so like i haven't really seen much of the share house people not as exciting as i thought but it's still nice it's my first spot i can't complain you know it's only gonna get better from here so these mats i took from my uncle's place oh yeah i'm actually still living in the same station i was before when i was living with my uncle my uncle's house is literally right down this block i could get there in like a minute his place has really good wi-fi so whenever i need to upload i actually go there it takes like two hours to upload from here so i just walk to his place and a video uploads in like 10 seconds all right what's up just dropping by swooping in popping out dropping by coming through stopping by barging in what am i saying okay basically sorry let's, let's change the lighting a little bit all right, there we go. Okay, so basically, I'm editing this video, right? I've been wondering. This video has been taking days to edit, okay? I'm a pretty slow editor, but, you know, I'm not that slow. And this is taking days to edit, so I'm like, why is this taking so long? And I realized, okay, so I got to this part. It's like 10 minutes in the video, right? And I still got, like, two hours of footage left. And I was planning on trying to get the video out. In fact, I was trying to get the video out, like, freaking two days ago freaking three days ago i don't even know but shit comes up you know life happens and also this shit's just taking a long ass time to edit but i realized all the footage i got today or that day it's just gonna be a long video so i'm gonna break it down in two parts like i'm getting good at vlogging like i'm i'm getting good at just like taking up time i'm getting better at wasting your time people think vlogging is easy all you do is talk but like you try vlogging it's hard to just talk but i'm getting good i'm getting good baby i'm getting good 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 like look at what i'm doing i'm just fucking being stupid okay see see this is what i'm saying i'm not even getting to the point maybe this isn't even a good thing that i'm getting good at vlogging i'm just getting good at getting the video to 10 minutes that's what it is at this point but look this is what i'm saying this is gonna be a long video and i just want to get this video out so i'm stopping the video here I'm gonna separate this vlog into two different videos so yeah the part two to this video will be the next video i'll give you a little rundown of what happens though not much it's just that night i go on a journey and walk all the way to my grandma's house it takes almost an hour and then i take an L in Shibuya and then I just kind of explain stuff regarding the channel and like just stuff that's going on I really didn't think I got you know so much footage in fact I kept vlogging after I saw my grandma because I thought I wouldn't have enough footage for a whole vlog I thought it would just be like I don't know I thought the share house part would just be like five minutes or something but it ended up being like a whole vlog and I just it's, I just keep talking this is what it is. Okay, shut the fuck up. The video could be done right now, but I keep talking. Holy shit. All right, anyway. See, I get stuck when I try to end the video. I'm just so used to just dragging on the video. This is some shit. Okay, anyway. How is this clip already seven minutes? Literally, all I was saying is this video is long. I'm splitting up in two parts. Outro, boom over this video should have been a minute and it's freaking seven minutes right now anyway i'm gonna just shut the fuck up thank you guys for watching this video make sure to like and subscribe and click the little ding dong to know when i upload and i like broccoli Shall we?